book is Sap Attack, My Story, Warren Sap. Uh, you see him, obviously, you have for years. You see him on the NFL Network. You see him everywhere. Uh, obviously, the decorated uh, defensive lineman uh, who had his best years in Tampa and uh, obviously a fixture in the Pro Bowl and a two-decade uh, All-NFL player. All right, a couple of things here. The Kyle Clifton play, which really changed the Chad. NFL. Uh, Chad Clifton play, which actually almost changed. Well, it did change the NFL a little bit. Take me through it. What happened? Just an interception, and once it's an Oski, I turned and looked that far. He took off running and laughed. Nah! I'm like, Shh, can't get him. So I'm looking for the rest of the old line. I'm like, oh, I got nothing. So I'm going this way, and some say, Sap, you always know they got to be in the frame. So I turn and look back, and he's right there. I said, ah, got me one. He in full stride mode to get there, so. Got him good. Took him right off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Took him right off his feet. And they changed, the, they changed the rules since then, right? I mean. They didn't change it for me, but they changed it. Right, but that play really kind of springboard. It kind of yeah. opened, it, opened it up that, you know, they, they, they're after each other with it. So yeah. I mean, but Mike, you were offensive lineman, right? No, I didn't play. I didn't you didn't play. play? No, no. But you had friends that played. Yo, sure. Man. When there's an interception, what's the first thing you have to do? Yeah, absolutely. Get your head on the swivel. Absolutely. Because we are coming. Absolutely. We get the, we get the but block now. that's the kind of play now they want to take out of the game. Yeah, that, I, I, can see why perfect now. I can see why now. I can see why now. Because you can get badly injured. No, I can see why now. Right. Because we have to take care of each other. It's like them chopping us on the back of the leg back in the day that, you know, with Yorkovics and, right. you know, Eric Williams with the Cowboy game on the back of, you know, Reggie White's leg. So, I mean, hindsight's always 2020. But when you're in the middle of a game and – you going. All right, what about this stuff? Now, here's the stuff. What about this friendly stuff with you and Favre during the game? I mean, there was, you know, you and – what about this stuff, this by-play with you and Favre that used to go on during There's the game? There's two country boys out in the field with 10 to, friends. You're supposed to be going after your opponent. Oh, trust me, I was going after him. Okay, trust me, I was going after him. We well, just had a little, little, little fodder going on in, in between. It didn't, it didn't discuss weight. He got a lot of attention, though. You know, when you sit here and the quarterback in the defensive line tackle the nose to nose, you know, that, that kind of draws a little bit of attention. So, but it was, it was, you know, it was always, all fun. always, always fun. Ever, ever bad natured? No. Ever I, angry? I never had that kind of hate. Whenever you saw me sign a quarterback, I'd get up and go to dance and smile. And I, this was about fun for me. Okay. They didn't pay me for Sunday. Was Sunday there was a quarterback you didn't like? That you really got, you liked giving a little extra shot to? Was there a quarterback you didn't like? When I got to Oakland, Philip Rivers was really like the dude that <sighs> I wish I could have had those boys. Trash? I wish I could have had those boys in red to go see his ass because he he deserves a good Why? Because I think he thinks you know being at NC State with the little you know the accolades, full time you know whatever it was. I mean he you know just it was something about him. I mean. He, he he had a he had his nose in the air and I'm, I'm did trying he to say think, a lot. Did I'm trying to have, yes yes yes. So if he scored, he had something Pointing, to say. Pointing all that stuff. I'm like. When the hell you want anything to be there like this? I mean, I, I remember you at what the Wolfpack, right? <laughs>to talk about it. So, so he was the guy that annoyed oh, you. Philip at the end. He annoys a lot of guys in the league, though, supposedly. Trust me, quarterbacks, everything. I mean, he's just a in-your-face type of Fights with the fans? Dude. Gets out with the fans? Like I said, he's just one of those in-your-face type of guys. And the thing I wanted to tell him was, name me the quarterback that's won a Super Bowl like that. Mm, probably, I, you know, I have to think off the top of my head who's really been I'll out wait. there. I don't think there, there probably isn't one. Not one. I probably can't think Not of one. Not one. I'm trying you to play think. the most humbling game you could possibly go. I talk my trash, but it's normally when I'm outside the game or right. the play's over. You know, you got to pick your spots because it will But there's not you. that many quarterbacks who are that way, right? I can't think of too many who are that way. Was there a lot of trash-talking quarterbacks? Not really, right? I mean, just, just little things, you know. Tim Couch hit me with the football one time in the face mask. But, Probably the only thing he ever hit was you. Yeah, yeah, was uh, I, I yeah. think so, too. Uh, <laughs> what about offensive linemen? What offensive linemen just he just didn't like? There had to be an offensive line. Not even one offensive line. You lineman. know what? Those dirty guys, that, that Richie kid down in Miami, he was he was, he was was a dirt bag. And the well-born dude, he kicked me one time in the Philadelphia right. game. Other than that, nothing. everybody else was pretty well, you know, in between the lines because, I mean, we grown men. I'll right. see you after this game. Right. Did, I mean, you ever, did you that call, ever happen? No. I, I'd let you know. Have you ever Have you ever gone at it with a player after a game? No. Never. Never. Did you see that happen a lot? Yes. A, a lot. A lot of times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Really? I, I You're mean, not living in Magic City. You know, right. Miami brings us all together. So you think that that does? But that happens a lot. Oh yeah. Do yeah. guys in the NFL hold grudges? Yes, absolutely. 
Yes. We're like elephants. We never forget. Anything. Never forget. Anything. Anything. How about the stuff with the official? Take me through the whole stuff with the official. Which one? Well, you know, let, let's go through. Let's go. Let's go through the most celebrated one. Go ahead. Which one? Uh, I, I'm trying to figure it out. The first one. The one when I went through the stretch with Indianapolis. The one you got with the whole thing with the league. Where the, the remember the league got on you with one with the you got on the official about him making a bad call and you were going nuts on the official. That was the only time. The one I got kicked out in Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Listen, I watched them change a call from offsides. You were on, going nuts that game. I want you to listen to me. Go ahead. I had played 13 years in this league, and I have never seen a referee change the call from number 56, which is Derek Burgess, to number 58, which is Chris Clement. And this, this ref over here calls it, so he's looking across the field. So I looked at this ref on this side, and I said, you didn't see that? What do you mean? I said, he called it on 58. No, he didn't. He called it on 56. I said, you want to ask him? So he asked him, he was like, how do you change that call from the numbers? You know, because Burgess is over here yelling at this ref. I ain't no size. And like he's in his face. So the referee says it's on 58. And then they change it when they click the mic on. Okay. They change it from 56 to 58. He goes, say, and, okay. he goes and asks the official. Yeah, this ref does. He and, says, and yeah, we changed the call. And he says we changed we the change call. We changed the call. Oh, okay. okay. I say, well, you can't do your job? So now <laughs> we got to a point right at the end of the half. Flat goes up in the air and says, offsides, number 21, Namdi Hasamawa. I said, we won't play number man to man. <laughs> this happens every day. You Back up, son. He's right in front of you. Back up, son. I said, you couldn't tell him that? I'm doing my job. I said, oh, now you're doing your job. Right, right, right. So we going at it now. I mean, so we get to a point where now we have a penalty and the referee Declines the penalty on his own. I said, excuse me, Mr. Ref. Who declined the penalty? He said, I did. I said, you can't do that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, give me I, I said, my brother, you can't do I said, you see the C on my chest? Because right. I've never had it before. Because right. back in when we played, you had so no So you C. didn't get asked. Listen, I say, you have to ask me because Absolutely. Burgess don't talk. Right. And Nomdi's on the other side of the field. Right. So you got to. Okay. I say, who declined the penalty? He said, I did. So I walk over to the sideline. I say, Lane, he declined the penalty on his own. But I won't leave the field because I know I got to go back out here and play this third down because we're going to move them back because they in field goal range. Right. I've done this too many times. I mean, and I'm sitting there like, you got to be kidding me. You're changing the offsides. You call offsides on my left corner. And the only thing you got to do is tell him, back up, son. You offsides. Back up a little bit. He's right there. Now you want to tell me you're going to decline a penalty on your own? <laughs> so we walk back on the field. He happened to be a black dude, and he was like one of the first brother refs, number 22. And I'm like, say my... And, and, I, mm -hmm. and I'm lathered okay. up saying this to him. I'm like, yo, you can't do that, my. So right. say my. And he won't even acknowledge me and say, all right, Warren, I got you. I'm like, listen, you got put in authority with the white hat. You can't do this on your own. So you would need to know who you need to see. So, you know, I'm kind of poking and jabbing at him. So the umpire, who's number 53, and I got to take you back six weeks before this, where he's in the huddle with the Houston Texans team, giggling with the offensive line. <laughs> and he came out of the huddle looking at me. I'm like. What's so funny? I, I I like to laugh, too. Those are offensive linemen. They be punching me in the rib. What's so funny? He going to look at me and say, oh, they're afraid of you. I say, you lying MF. And you, I've never seen a man turn that red that fast before in my life. He wanted to throw a penalty on me so bad, but he couldn't because he had just lied. So he gets the referee to come over and tells me. I have to apologize to him. I say, I say Mr. White, who's number 99, the referee, I say, this man told me, when he came out of the huddle with the offensive line, laugh. And I said, what's so funny? He said, they're afraid of you. And I said, in my neighborhood, when you lie to a man's face, you get called a lying MF. And that's what I gave to him. White looked at him and said, let it go. <laughs> so now we're in Jacksonville. He says to me, you can't talk to him like that. Because I'm over here saying, yo, my, my right. end, you know, I'm, I mean, we're, right. I'm, I'm I using you. the word. I mean, right. you can't talk to him like that. I said, yo, shut the. He threw this flag like napalm. I mean, I said, you've been waiting to throw that one for six weeks. I just walked. So we, we, we going at it. So now I'm like, so now I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go totally off because when two grown men are talking and the referee don't throw the flag on me and I'm saying what I'm saying to him, then how you going to throw the flag? So it was just one of those days where four calls went. A what was the way. fine? Huh? What the league hit you with? No, they returned my money. They gave it back. 
they returned my, some of my money. Oh, so all right. So they saw it. They, did you come in and talk they to them? They just didn't want me to call on the phone and curse them out like I had did for so many years because this one was going to be worse than anything else because I actually had the, the play sheet right in front of me, and I was going to use my appeal and wasn't going to let nobody talk on this. Is one. the officiating from your standpoint good, bad, or is it awful? Is it bad? Is it Both okay? Ways. Now? Yeah. With the replacement? No, forget the replacement. Okay, okay. Now? Day to day is the officiating. It even now. We, get to, we take a lot of calls from fans about it officiating. Do you think the officiating is good, <laughs> bad, or awful? Good. You think it's good? Good. Day in, day out, you think it's good? good. Okay. So you don't think it's terrible? No, not in no least okay. bit. They, so you, they do a pretty good job. They really do. I mean, it's some of the finest athletes in the world going at a pace Very that, tough. No ooh, question. The biggest thing is the difference when they take the umpire and put him on right. the sides like that. Right. That allows defensive holding back in the game. Yeah, so that's I, I want to I I talk about that. You yeah, can't do that. You I don't like do it either. You can't do that. No, you got to go back to the old school I, way. I totally agree. You got to watch that. They're trying to protect him is what I know what they're doing do. because yeah. he's in the middle of right. that, that auto barn that they right. built in the middle of the football no field. Question. I know. Yeah. All right, Sap Attack, my story <laughs> with Warren Sap, right back.